Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message. Before we get into that, I'm very happy to announce that I have partnered with Mint Mobile. Yes, the Mint Mobile that is owned by Ryan Reynolds. Hey there, it's Ryan Reynolds, owner of Mint Mobile. Enticing, right? Here's the deal. You know I'm always talking about cost of living, inflation, well I can't change all that, but <laughs> by partnering up with Mint Mobile, bringing this to you as an option. They have phone plans that start at $15 a month. It is the nation's largest 5G network. I've been using it myself and I have quite enjoyed it. It only takes like 15 minutes to switch over and I've been quite pleased with it. So I, I tried it out myself. I thought that you might be interested in this. So I do have a special link. If you wanna sign up for your own plan, See if it works out for you. Maybe you can save money on at least one bill. Is that a little helpful? <laughs> if you use my link, my unique link, it will be benefiting me and this channel. And if you do that, I thank you very much. But I do hope that you'll try it out and see if it works for you. Now into this week's message. This message is weird. Um, I'm going to let you know that this is a little weird message, but it has to do with greediness greediness. Where do we take, 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 and not give back? Where do we take and then play the victim and say, oh, well, I can't possibly do this, that, or the other, because you're used to having everyone do everything for you, right? That, there's going to be shakeups around that. So some of you, if there has been um, an avenue or something that you're constantly digging in, you're taking from this, um, never offering anything in return. It's not reciprocal. That's going to backfire on you. So obviously we have certain types of people who that's, that's their whole identity is taking advantage of other people. That's not going to go well for them. Okay. There's just that, but there, there are other people who I think you don't mean to do that. Uh, but examine it, examine it. And you'll know this, especially in the coming week, because what you're used to getting just sort of provided for you, goes away, goes away. Now, for some of you, this might look like someone saying, okay, I'm tired of cleaning up your messes. Do it yourself. Or I'm tired of being disregarded. You know, you, you take for granted that I'm always going to be here and I'm not. I don't like that I put effort into all these things for you to come in and criticize. You know, those kinds of things could be going on. I've said this one before as an example. When I go and watch people on social media, I always make sure I'm giving them a like. I make sure I let the video play through. Now, I'm saying that because I understand I do social media myself. But especially when I'm on the clock app, I'll make sure I give gifts, you know, things like that. Uh, a lot of what's going on is people are going into this victimhood mode. Poor me, poor me. I don't have enough. I have to look out for myself. And I, and I don't want to speak. I mean, everybody has their situation, right? Everybody has their situation, but some people don't have a situation and they're trying to pretend like they've got a situation. That's what it's feeling like. So make sure you are being fair in what you expect from other people. Um, do you give back? Are you the one that always has the issues? Do you dominate the conversation with what's going on in your life, but you don't listen to what's going on in other people's lives? You expect all the support, but you don't give anything back. You know, those are the kinds of things that are coming up. Now, again, this is understandable to an extent because there are so many narratives floating around about us being scared, especially finances. Like that's, that's a big one, right? Like that's, um, Hold on, they're saying something here. It doesn't have to be that way, though. It doesn't have to be that way. People don't have to be running scared. We are in a time of shifting and transformational energy. And so if something's not working out, it's because you're supposed to go some other direction. But if you want to get a reading with me, you can go to angelsouls444.com to book a standard reading. Look at what that entails. That's all right there when you go to the website. Uh, you do not need to be afraid to get an angelic message. Okay. It's not like any other reading out there where they're going to come in and try to scare you, right? Angels are loving and peaceful and straightforward. So they, a lot of people's egos don't like that though. They might say they're not straightforward. 
they're super vague and blah, 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 blah. They don't interfere with your human free will. Okay. So they're going to give you the guidance message, but if you're in an egotistical place or in a victimhood place or at a place of just tell me the answer so I don't have to do any thinking, well, no, that's not going to work out well for you. Okay. So if you want, if you're ready, I mean, you don't have to like, like I said, you don't have to be afraid, but if you're ready to do that work, come on in angelsouls444.com. I am booking live sessions. I do typically take that week by week. I never know what's going to be happening. So I'll go the next week and the next week and the next week. So email me if you want a live reading, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Or if you want to book a live session, uh, like teaching session. So I've added another one in there. I'm now teaching how to connect with your angels. You can do that one. That's a one hour session. Uh, the angel mediumship, which I have spoken about before. And I've also added in reading angel cards. Now I've, I've added that one in. Some of you have taken my Gumroad courses. Those are still available at gumroad.com slash angel souls. But if you want the live one-on-one -on -one session, come on in, email me, get your spots. Like I said, I do this week by week. So get on in here. Once the spots are filled, they're filled. This is definitely a time to work on some self-awareness. And, and it's um, because if you don't, it's going to hit you, <laughs> it's going to smack you. And I don't know that we want that. We will be coming into some kind of very odd energies um people it, let me let me put it this way it could work out really well for people who've been the underdog okay if you're constantly if you're the one getting taken advantage of constantly there could be really beautiful opportunities coming up for you and you go off and you take it and then you say okay bye y'all and the people who are over here used to being fed by your energy now they're going to be at a loss and they're going to play victim. Get ready for that. They're going to play victim and say, how dare you? How do you, how could you abandon us or whatever the thing might be, <laughs> but you'll have a good week. What some of you are not going to be doing very well with is you're going to realize that a shallow approach is not going to work and you're going to be lost. You're going to be incredibly lost. Now to those of you out there who are watching this, and as I said, you're usually the one that everyone comes running to, to fix things or to provide for them, um, whatever the case may be, you have been doing the work. You've been kind of forced into doing the work because there was probably like, why, why am I attracting people like this in? Why am I feeling like I'm constantly being taken advantage of? Like, I thought I understood this situation. Now this person's telling me I don't understand this situation. That's called gaslighting. <laughs> okay. You know, all of these things, uh, coming about, it's going to, uh, there could be some tension going on here where some people are going to choose conflict. Others are just going to walk away. They're going to walk away. And, um, I'm very curious to see how this is going to, to work out. It's going to be interesting. Um, hmm. I, okay, so I'm feeling a little bit, first of all, there's this Archangel Michael energy coming in and saying, okay, there's going to be some hard truths coming in, some very hard truths. And there's going to be some hard truths around division. Now, I talk about that quite often, too, where people, if you choose a side, you've missed the point. You've actually fallen for the game. You've fallen for the game. Whatever that is, you're choosing a sports team. You're choosing sides with belief systems you're choosing sides with political views you know whatever the case may be um yeah they're saying we need to work more on our humanity like the true side of that which is being on the side of the innocent helping each other out not being competitive not being um jealous envious seeing other people as a threat and so you're always kind of doing some maniacal thing you cannot lie to god Okay, you cannot lie to God. You cannot lie to God in your energy. So if you are envious of someone, but you smile in their face and pretend to be their friend, this could be a nasty week for you. Yeah, work on that low self-esteem. I mean that. I mean that. <laughs> you need to work on that low self-esteem. I am going to be doing, obviously you guys know I've been announcing that I'm doing a podcast. I had uh, recorded the podcast, a 40 minute podcast on how people, you know, view people who do spiritual practices and things like that. What is the overall sort of impression by mainstream of that kind of practice, right? Did this whole 40 minute recording, 
realized that I had not chosen my podcast mic. And so it was all echoey and all this stuff. So I have to re-record that, but we'll get that up. But you can check out the description box. All the information is there. All right. So I, I don't know how else to put this. Um, if you have been selfish, really, if you've been selfish, um, it's coming back to you. It's definitely coming back to you. <sighs> yeah. I said a few weeks ago or a couple of weeks ago, like, you know, there's this message here of like, where do we lie to ourselves, right? Where do we lie to ourselves? I've said before, and I'll say it again, that's a good topic for a reading. You know, if you want to get a reading with me, um, you can also ask, you can ask love questions. You can do all of that, but just expect to go a lot deeper than, than that question. Okay. Um, but the, this, this thing of like, you know, do we think that we're being such a good person and it's going back to the original message, but you never give back. Or, um, okay, here you go. They're saying, do you appreciate what other humans are going through? That's what it comes down to. Are you appreciating what other humans go through? So let's say, I don't know why, the, I just pictured a bakery uh, and like cakes, okay? Um, imagine, you know, you go into a bakery and all you can think about is like, I need a birthday cake, right? I need a birthday cake. And the person presents it to you and it's already, and it's like, I don't quite like that shade of blue and the icing. Like, I guess I'll take it, but right. Do you understand what that baker had to go through in order to make that cake for you? One, they had to deal with you. <laughs> There's one. Two, they actually had to, if it's a bakery, they had to make sure that they're, you know, they're running their business properly. They have health code things that they have to stand by, fire code things that they got to stand by. They've got to make sure their ingredients are quality. They had to put their time and talent into that to then present you with something that you're like, eh, nitpicking. This is called empathy. This is called compassion. You better get with Archangel Raphael this week. Work on that in the heart space. Work on having compassion. If you are having, we've got to balance this a little bit here. So like, let's say there's a small business. I just actually had this incident. Small business, I was ordering um, a birthday gift for someone and they double charged me. They double charged me and sent me two instead of one. I did not do that. I know I didn't. Okay, 100% I did not. And I alerted them immediately. Hey, this thing happened. Almost, it was about a week and a half goes by. No answer. I, I check with them again. Two more weeks go by, still no answer. And I had no, and I felt awful doing this, but I had to go to my, my card and fight the charge because, and I still have the second thing. I'm waiting for them to get in touch with me. Like here, take it, take it back. I don't need to, I just needed the one, right? I've got the other one. You can have it back. You know, I'm not trying to get anything for free here, but you know, sometimes you have to kind of walk that line and kind of feel it out, but give people as much of a chance without being a people pleaser, without letting really toxic people take advantage of you. And if you can't get this, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Like we have to be able to not do black or white thinking, to know that everything is nuanced, that there's a little of this and then there's a little of that, <laughs> right? So like that, I know it's a jumble of a week. There could be a lot of fighting going on uh, around okay so it's valentine's day week right um there could be people having trouble in their relationships um definitely uh, i'm hearing lots of things underappreciated again this theme of being taken advantage of this is what people are fighting back against and then there is this message here of, you know, in a broader sense out in the worldwide stage, um, the inflicted chaos, inflicted chaos, uh, so that we get scrambled, we get worried, we get drained, and then we sort of start hoarding, um, seeing others as an enemy, as opposed to that these are the people we're going to have to be in cooperation with to get through right? We shouldn't be at each other in a negative way. Um, but yeah, we're, we're catching on. I don't know if this is going to happen in one week, but <laughs> we're catching on to that imposed uh, chaos. So this would be news stories like 
um, sensationalized news news stories, people coming out and saying, stop everything. You watch people who do this with readings. Stop everything. You are not going to be able to get through unless you understand, but you know, that sort of thing. So <laughs> it's, it's messy. It's messy. And I was actually just thinking this morning, I was like, how many important emails have I missed because there's so much junk in my inbox? I had that thought. I don't know. I was like, I hope I'm not missing anything. <laughs> I hope I'm on top of everything because this seems a little, uh, um, but yeah, it, it's that sort of thing. Where do we get mentally scrambled and out of touch with our heart space? When these two things are not online with one another, we're not going to handle things very well. We're going to struggle needlessly. Okay. But I don't, I wish I had like a nice way to sum this up. I don't, okay. I don't have a nice way to sum this up. Don't take advantage of people. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Okay. Um, don't try to get more than what you deserve. Don't try to be all competitive over someone. <sighs> Is it enough to just say, can we just be kind and cooperative and loving and empathetic and compassionate towards one another? Can we do that? Can we try that? Can we, can we try this? I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> Leave your comments down below. Please remember that if you like, share, subscribe, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to be subscribed, because sometimes that kicks off. I don't know why, but doing all that really helps me out a ton. So for now, we're going to leave it there. I am sending you all so much love and take care.